Good evening, everybody. Happy Memorial Day from Willowbrook Apiaries. We're checking hive 2A. We've started a numbering system on our hives. This queen is a different genetic line. She comes from a gentleman up in Stillwater. Swarm of feral bees. How do I know they were feral? I found the bee tree that they came from less than 100 yards away from the swarm. Over here I have one A, one B, and one C. They're all from one queen. A bear got into a watershed outbuilding and tore open the side of it to get to these bees that had been there for seven years. The owners were happy to have the bees, not so much the bear. So they asked me to come take them out of the wall of their watershed. And I was able to split this hive into two hives and a nucleus, 1A, 1B, and 1C. So I'm trying to keep track of my different queens and their lineage so I know who's doing well. Can you zoom in on the front entrance of this hive, Noah? Uh, just right in here. There are a ton of bees marching in with pollen-filled sacks, just loaded right up. The purpose of our inspection today is to t check and see whether or not this frame, this hive, 2A, needs any more room. Last time I was in here, they were building out nicely. The honeysuckle and the locust are all in bloom right now. So we have a good nectar flow running. Uh, raspberries and blackberries, I think, are not too far away. Um, there's also the serviceberry trees and another tree I'm not familiar with. The other with tree blooming flowers, is American black cherry. All of which are blooming right now. So this top box, I can already see they're cross combing a little bit on the third frame here. You can see right at the end of my hive tool here where they've connected the two bars, the two frames. Not good. So we've got a little correction to do there. Just gonna drive them down. They've started working this one and they're putting this off at an angle too. So last time I tried to gently re-straighten this, and I'll try again today. They still have plenty of room to go here. I don't have a proper hive stand yet, uh, frames, frame rest. So I just lean things against equipment next door as needed. I'm just gonna gently with my hive tool, try to convince that bee to move and re-adjust that comb so that it's not as likely for them to fill it wrong, build it wonky. No wonky comb in my hive, please. I'm calling up my leg. A bee? Multiple. Okay, why don't you? Might not now, but it would work. Right. I was gonna say, why don't you tend to that? Because there are some tender bits where they can sting on the back of your leg. Uh -huh. or other tender bits. Yeah. All right, last time I was in here, I removed this piece of comb. I just did it again. They're, con they're insisting that they're gonna build Ooh. a piece of comb right here. 
we got eggs in here, capped brood. Good, good, good. Capped brood, pollen, and nectar. Open cell. Yep, can you see that good? Yeah. All right, we're gonna check the other side, make sure the queen's not on here. This is Black Beauty Hive. This queen is not on this frame. She is so black. A lot of these bees are dark. The queen is very, very dark. Glad to see we were getting some brood in this box. I'd like them to really increase their population a little. So they can bring in some more nectar. More workers, more nectar. Hopefully. <laughs> this one's real heavy. I'm thinking all nectar. Yeah. Something capped. Mm, it's just some pollen cells. Mm. My question is, how does this thing get the stuff to stay? In the cells? Yeah. All the cells? That's a good question, Noah. So if you didn't hear him, my son Noah just asked, why don't you ask the question again a little louder? How do they get the stuff to stay in the cells? So what they do is they build all of the cells facing. Each cell is tilted slightly upward. Right here, Noah? Each of these cells is tilted slightly towards the top of the hive instead of towards the bottom. So as it builds out, it builds out and up at an angle so that they can keep it in. Okay. You're gathering a nice bit over there, Bee Whisperer. Why do you keep saying that? Yeah, we should get Why a close-up of the Why do I keep calling you Bee Whisperer? Because you love honeybees and they love you back. Yes, I know. One's on my neck. So right here, in the middle, these bees clustered together. That's called a festoon. They are festooning mm -hmm. off the top, measuring the space that they have to build new comb. So they'll be building comb there hopefully next time we get in and they'll connect these two separate pieces into one. They've still got quite a bit of work to do in this box, but just the same. Since this is a box that's fairly empty, we're going to leave it, except that we're going to take this frame right here, move it over. Completely empty frame. Not much to see there. And this frame right here that they keep trying to connect that other bar to. And they keep trying to connect honeycomb on a crossbar. So we're going to move it over between and empty. And give them the idea that they've got this other space and other room out here. That they could be and should be drawing comb. I'm using my finger as a measuring guide on the side. Squeezing those frames back together. And we're going to give them this back. Turned it on them. Sorry ladies, I'm redecorating. And we are not going to add a frame, a box today. And I'm going to say probably two weeks before we need to add a box to this one. Willowbrook Apiaries, happy bees, healthy honey, God bless.